LeBron James returns to Cleveland, you can almost say again, you know, this time wearing a Laker uniform. And it's totally different than when he left the last time in Miami to go to Miami. There was no decision show, all these things. Because at that point, it wasn't just Cleveland fans that were very upset with LeBron. Most of the national media thought, even if LeBron wanted to go to Miami, the way he did it on national TV, ESPN, was so self-absorbed, it was just a mess. You know, this time, here's how I feel about LeBron. Fans could do whatever they want. You know, they buy the tickets, I don't. They could cheer or boo, it's up to them. But I look at the fact, LeBron's first 15 years, he played 11 of them here. 11 of 15 years in a Cavalry uniform. Nobody's played more games in a Cavalry uniform ever than LeBron James. You look back at this. Hey, he came back to deliver a title. He delivered a title. Then you look at this past season, the one that just ended, the 2018 playoffs. LeBron's had many tremendous postseason performances. 2014, when he took that team where Kyrie Irving was hurt and Kevin Love was hurt, kind of carried them on his back all the way to the finals. That was remarkable. That was the best I'd ever seen from LeBron until 2018. I think maybe LeBron knew at that point, probably did, that he was going to be out the door. But he gave everything he had last season, played all 82 games, led the league in minutes played, and then just carried that team to the NBA Finals, winning two game sevens. So, you know, look at that. LeBron James always talks about father time being undefeated. Of course, you look at him now. He threw in 44 the other night and had 51 points at Miami. He, got, he is remarkable. But he is human. And in my mind, LeBron wants to finish his career with the Lakers or whatever. You know, I'm good with that. And I'm grateful that he gave 11 of his 15 years here and he delivered the title that he so longed to give Cleveland fans.